Wow. See identity of man who was allegedly arrested for financing hip hop activities in Imo. Uzodima revealed. For some time now, Nigeria has been battling with all manners of insecurity difficulties ranging from incessant kidnapping of school children, banditry, terrorism, and criminal activities of unknown gunmen who go about destroying and burning government structures. People can no longer live peacefully in their homes. They are afraid to lose their lives in their own land. Lately, reports came in on how some unknown gunmen attacked Olo, beheaded a man, killed some people and raised 20 shops. Imo State is known to be under attack by these unknown gunmen as people keep losing their lives on a daily basis. On July 31st, it was reported that the Umwaka police station in Unjaba local government area was raided by unknown gunmen and two policemen were killed at a spot during the heat of the attack. The people in Umwaka and Olu community are constantly gripped in fear due to the attacks from these gunmen on a daily basis. According to news reported by Daily Trust, the identity of the man financing IPOP and Eastern Security Network activity in Imo State has been exposed as Boniface OKK. In line with the report, Boniface was said to have confessed the crime and claimed he has been the one financing IPOP activities in the state, which amounts to 10 million naira why he was in abroad. Boniface was arrested yesterday at Obo Autonomous Community in Olu by the police and also led the policemen to their various hideouts in Imo State. With this new development, Nigerians can be assured that the tyrants left in the IPOP are but few. With the commitment of the government, banditry and terrorism would become a thing of the past. Nigeria would once again become a peaceful nation for its citizens. Great lie. A very great lie. You see, federal government is still going about looking for um, what uh, what uh, they will still use as uh, as evidence in Namdekanu's um, trial. Don't forget that Namdekanu's trial is still very much on, and the federal government have extended the uh, the next hearing to twenty first of October. Don't forget. So they did that for the purpose of. Um, of, uh, of you know, in order to be able to go out and get more facts for themselves because they know that they don't have any reasonable facts to present in the courts, you understand? So they, do, they did that for their own selfish purpose and not for the purpose of anyone. So now, with this that they have just presented now, I will tell you that it's a very great lie, a big lie from the pits of hell. I don't, I, I'm not, I'm not biased. Look, it, as I'm broadcasting, the person broadcasting or carrying out this broadcast is not an iPod, neither is he an ego. I'm not an ego, I'm not a Biafran, I'm not an iPod. But um, one thing I must tell you for sure is that I am, I'm, I'm, I'm always in for justice and truth you understand nigerian government has been very very biased and unfair to this very group called ipop what is there what they are requesting for is something that every group or, or region can demand for you understand so i don't know why the uh, the federal government are now taking this to be too hot and then uh, start going after this uh, these people you understand you know 
it's so it's so painful it's so painful it's so painful i plead to you my dear viewers that don't conclude over what has just been presented or broadcasted right now what you should do is at least do your own research your own research your own self research to know how true this but for me i'll tell you that it is not true it's not true and it can never be true the people you see there are gunmen or but they are not any uh, ipo financiers they are not any ipo financiers you all have have heard from some of the financiers of ipo the 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 the, the, the Igbos in diaspora are financiers of IPOP. The uh the 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 uh, uh the great and mighty people in the UK are pop are also fina uh foreign financiers. This is how they lied one time ago that one of the financiers of IPOP is a drug 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 dealer. I don't know why why Nigerians are just Nigerian government is just you know moving up and down carrying rumors and all of that. Well, they will fail. Behold, I would like to give you this good news. Um, the Yoruba activist that has been working in hand with Mazin Namdekano that was arrested by uh, by 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 uh, the by the Nigerian. Uh, and police why he was trying to travel to Germany you know why he was traveling tr trying to travel to Germany through Kotono the guy has just won the case against the Nigerian government you see and I am telling people that look the same way this guy won the case against the federal government is the same way he is going to win the case uh, is the same way now the canon is always also win the case against uh, Nigerian government they didn't just get prepared they should get prepared. We shall all see. We shall all see the real, the, 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 the truth, the truth of the matter. You understand? They will all fail. In fact, they have started failing. They have started failing. I'm telling you. And it will surely, it will surely read. You understand? It will read up. So I am not surprised anyway that this is happening. I'm not surprised. Well, our, our, our. Our evil leaders are ones are the people causing all of this shit. They don't causing it. If not, who will give them that that uh, that 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 chance to to do what they are doing? Nobody. Nobody will. Do you understand? So meanwhile, my dear viewers, I use this medium to call you into this issue. Please, give it free to come in and leave your own comment concerning this issue. If you are new, click on the red subscribe buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.